this is Cheryl Lentz, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, talking to you on Tuesday at 2.01. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh no, it's here, it's here. I waited, wait, and then all of a sudden it's here. So hope I have some of you joining me today. I have some fun, um, I have a fun fold that we will be doing in my Kismet class um, next month. I don't have that date, but I can look that up. Um, using the Honeybee stamp set and the paper that you can receive free, the golden, what is it called? Golden Honey Specialty Paper um, from Celebration. So that's what I'm using today. So I'm gonna show you how to cut it and the sizes, how to score it. And it's a kind of a little special cut. And we're gonna talk about the papers. Hi, Patty. <laughs> I heard from Miss Vi this morning. So I hope you guys are having a good day in Florida. Um, so I wanted to show you that and um, a couple other little cards, one other card using this fun fold, which is super easy. And uh, I think it's kind of impressive. It's sort of a fun fold. So I think you'll enjoy it. So I guess I will go ahead and turn the turn around here. <laughs> oh, bye and Ron are on. Mwah! Hi. <laughs> Miss you guys. But I know you're soaking up all that sunshine and all those good vibes. Hope you get to do a little stamping with Patty. Bye. That would be nice. I know she's got some good stuff down there. <laughs> So I'm gonna turn the camera on, I'm blushing. <laughs> Hi, Jean, oh my goodness. It's good to see you on too. I think last week we caught you on the, on the review, but I'm glad that you're on now. So after I do this, then I will also, Hi, Jean, I'm so happy to see you. I will put this on YouTube. So subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then you'll always get updates when I, I'm going to try to start doing some different um, things on YouTube also. So the same thing will be on YouTube. So I have some people that do not get Facebook and so I can share it on that and I can share it on my blog. So we're gonna talk about all this fun stuff today and this great paper that you can get. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it around. So when I turn it around, I can't see y'all. So please leave a message, let me know that you're watching, give me a wave, give me a comment. Um, I, I will be sending out a bunch of cards tomorrow for people that have commented and shared my video and I so appreciate that. So I just wanna say thank you for all that. So here we go. I'm gonna turn it around. Let's see here. I always try to not look up, but my eyes don't focus good. <laughs> okay, here we go. So I'm gonna put this down here. Try to square it up here a little bit. Come on, get, get a little bigger phone. Oh, ooh, that's too big. Whoa, okay. There we go. Look, I have my nails done for Valentine's. Ta -da -ta. Okay, so we're using the Honeybee stamp set with the detailed um, dies that match. And I wanted to show you a couple of things. What we're doing today is we're using some of the dies, but we're using the designer paper that you can get um, from Celebration. So with a $50 order, and I believe this is like 41 something, so add a little something something on and you would get the paper for free. Um, here's my here's my paper stack. Some of it. So all this beautiful bee paper you get, and it's um, on one side you have gold embossing. And the nice thing is, I'll show you. I'm going to pull out a couple of pieces, and I want to show you that the dies match the paper. So here's two of the. Well, here this is two bees on here too. Two peas in a pot or two bees in a... So the die here, you can cut out from the DSP. Same on this one here or this one here. And we're going to be using this paper on the card today. On the front of the card, I just cut these bees out instead of, um, instead of stamping them. I just took it right out of the paper. So that's a nice, really a nice benefit. So if you're in a hurry or you don't wanna be stamping, you can use your paper that way. So I will show you, whoopsie. I'm hoping to not move that too far so you guys can still see what I'm doing here. Let me make sure I'm logged in. There we go. Oops, one time I, I missed my chair, so now I'm making sure I get, I get in my chair. The other thing I'm using with the card today are these dies. Um, the Stitch So Sweetly dies, and I've used these on some other cards. This is a standalone thing. I just think 
if you don't need the stamp set, you might say, well, I don't need the stamp set. However, these dies are so phenomenal. The stamp set is great too. So you have all these big verses and big, um, it's called So Sentimental, very nice. But this, these stamp um, dies are super cool. I've used them a lot. So I'm gonna put that aside, put that aside. I'm gonna show you the card that we're making today. Here it is. So we're using the bees. All these are cut from the paper. The hive is cut from the paper and this is the So Sweetly dies. You get that nice scalloped edge and stitching on it. And then it opens like that, ta-da. So well, that's what we're gonna make today. I have, and then at, at, when we're done, I'll show you a Valentine card that I made using the same cut. So very simple. You're going to start out with a piece of cardstock or a designer paper that is 12 inches by five and a half, which is a normal, you know, kind of a normal cut. Um, five and a half inches, all of our cards are that. But then in this case, we're going to do some scoring. I got paper in here left. So I'm gonna move the cutting blade down, which is the darker one. I'm gonna use the scoring blade. Let me see if you guys are seeing that. Yeah, okay, that, sh that should be, oh, Shirley, hello, Shirley. I'm glad you're joining us. So I'm going to score the five, it's um, 12 by five and a half, and I'm gonna score it at two. There we go, and that's the lighter color. So I'm scoring it at two, four, there we go, eight, and 10, and 10, here we go, 10, all the way over, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna take that out for a minute, but we're gonna use that again because we're going to be cutting the corners out here. So here's my paper, here's my, I have it, so I have it cut or scored here. It's going to go like this. So it's like folding that and then folding on top of itself, okay? I'm going to take my bone folder and just give that a good a good fold here. There we go, there we go, just like that. There, matches up. Okay, but now what we're going to do is we're going to cut these corners off. And how I did that was I used my, um, my grid paper here. Let me make sure you're in that corner. Okay, so I used my grid paper at the top. And I marked it at two and three quarters. So two and three quarters inches. I'm gonna take a pencil and just make a little, little mark there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Here we go, two and three quarters. There. From the top, and then I'm gonna make a mark here. Okay. Now I'm going to take my cutter and I'm going to cut from the little notch here where I marked it with the pencil. Move that over. So I'm gonna line that up with the, my cutting uh, line and I'm gonna line it up with the fold here. That's gonna be lining up with this area here. So from the notch that I put in it, two and three quarter, to the first fold. And then I'm gonna cut it. Now we're gonna save that piece. We like to use everything. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So I have my little notch, let's see here. Yeah, I can see it. It's hard to see when you have the pattern. Okay, I have my little notch here and my fold here. I wanna make sure I get the fold in the right place and the notch here, right there. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut that corner off. There we go, ta-da. Now I'm gonna move this aside and we're gonna take the two that we took off here and we're gonna glue them on down here. So I'm gonna get out my handy dandy green glue and I'm gonna glue that on the corners. So what you cut off the top, you're gonna to turn around and glue onto the bottom. So that goes like that. And I'm just, I like the green glue because I can squish it around a little bit and make sure I get it lined up correctly. 
on the edge of the paper. Now I'm going to glue this one on so you can see how easy this is. You could do this card with um, a belly band also um, so that it would stay closed better, but I, I liked it like this. I thought it was fine. So like that and like that. Because when you cut your paper, so if you got out of one piece of cardstock, you would get two of these cards out of it, right? Because it's five and a half by 12. So you would end up with a one inch, right? Yeah, you would end up with a one inch piece of this. This is what you'd end up with. This one inch piece that you could use as a belly band. Um, in this case, I'm not doing that, but that's okay. So this is going to go like this. Ta-da! And there I have the front of my card. So cool, this paper, I love this paper. All right, so um, the inside, because we scored at two, four, eight, and 10, <clears throat> the inside piece is going to be five and a quarter by three and three quarters, because this is a four inch, you know, five and a half by four. So that's what I have in here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and glue that in. And I'm not going to glue in the white until I stamp it. That's my rule. You have to stamp before you glue in case you need to use the other side of that special paper, right? That's just a little rule I do. So I'm going like that. Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. And now I'm going to do a little stamping. So we have our card all set up. Isn't that fun? So uh, when you see, um, now this one has kind of similar, but you have the gold foil on the the hive looking part the side of the paper and then these cute little bees so i'm going to set that aside i will go ahead and stamp my inside here and i used the happy birthday from here i'm, I'm wandering everything is on my desk i just have to i just have to locate it so i used the happy birthday from the cake set um the happy birthday to you celebration set it was really big and I thought it sort of went with the font with the little bees so I'm just going to stamp this I always have to straighten everything out and try to get it straight right there we go and then in the inside of the card I did use my little bee stamp so I'm gonna stamp my little bee here there we go and when that dries I did put some um, wink of Stella on there when in doubt, wink it out. That's what Lisa says. So there we go. I have that in there. And I'm going to let that dry a little minute. And then <clears throat> I have these pieces already cut. So here's that Stitch So Sweetly um, dies. So I have it in white and black. And I'll go ahead and put... Uh, I'm not going to... I'm going to stamp it first. Follow my own rules, right? Okay, so I'm stamping on the bottom side. Thinking of you, sweet friend. There we go. And there. And I just I just got a call. I just uh, deleted it. That was my sister calling. Hello. I'm busy. There we go. And then this, the beehive die, I cut out of the designer paper. So here's the back side of the paper. We used this pretty little print I showed you one other day on a baby card where we colored it in. The back side makes a perfect beehive. So that's what I did. And we'll put a little green glue on here like that. Ta-da, ta-da. There. And put this, center this here on my... There we go. And then this is just going to glue right onto my black rectangle. There we go. All right. There we go. Oops, move over a little bit. And give me a little wiggle room. Wiggle it on there. Get it kind of straight. Maybe. There we go. Okay. So there's that. Now I have to add my little bees. So I'm gonna bring my Big Shot over and I'm gonna cut my bees from the paper, from the designer paper. So here we go, here's the Big Shot. Here's my little bee paper. 
and I'm going to show you when you put this on and it moves, move the paper in the direction that it's moving in. When I lined this up, I line up the top of the wings and then the center here goes right, right like to the center of the bee's head. And I'm going to cut one out. There we go. And I used two of them on here. So inside I stamped the bee. On the outside I used the paper. So it's a if you have little pieces of paper left, it's kind of a nice, nice little fun thing to be able to do. Or if you're in a hurry and you don't want to mess with ink, you can just use the paper on both sides sizes of the bees. There we go. Do that. There we go. Hello, Yvonne. Here we go. Okay. When I stand up, I can see who's who's on. <laughs> I'm going to move that away, bring my little bees back, and I'm going to pull this out. So isn't that slick? That's kind of cool. I, I love the idea of, of being able to do that. Now, I did use my dimensionals, and on the bees, I used the little mini dimensionals. Here we go. So I'm just going to pick that up and put a couple of them on here. Oops, come back here. There we go, on those wings. And then on the back side of this, we're going to put um, dimensionals also, but only on half of it. Because if you put dimensionals on the whole thing, you're gonna, you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna um, close your card. <laughs> you're gonna um, glue your card down. We don't wanna, we wanna be able to open it up. So here we go, I'm gonna put this little bee here, ta-da, so they're popped up. Looks kinda fun, I think. And on this one, I'll put him over on this side. There we go, kinda going off. All right, so now, this is dry enough, I'm gonna go ahead and glue these the white into the inside. There we go, a little bit of glue. This is a super fast card. You know, where you don't you don't have all those other layers that you're cutting. You're just cutting the inside, you're cutting the front, and you're using your 12 by 12 paper in a very efficient way, I think, because you're you use every bit of it. So there we go. Now we want to put this right here in the middle. So I only want my I want it to be able to open like this. So my dimensionals. I'm using the bigger ones. They're going to go right down the side here. Put enough on, and I just kind of put it on right down the middle. Four of them. There we go. Ta-da. Get those out of the way. Throw the little tabs away here. They're fast. There we go. And there we go. Okay. So... I'm going to close my card up and I'm just going to eyeball it and I get it side to side and in the center here. Ta-da! There! There we go. Ta-da! Now the final touch. Hello, Wink of Stella. Love this stuff. You pull it out. You can glue. This is on the right on the DSP and I just put it on the wings. Just when you lift it up and look at it, you get a little shimmer. It's sort of fun, I think. So here, put it on, and then I put it on the one inside that I stamped. There we go. Ta-da, ta-da. There. Okay. There we go. So, card is all done. So if you share the video, if you comment, you're watching, let me know. Somebody will receive this card in the mail. Isn't that sweet? And we're also going to be doing this card in my February Kismet class. So, lots of fun. So, I told you I was going to show you another card made with that. I have a Valentine's card that I made using the rose paper. Um, that, ta-da. So, then I use these elements, right, in gold. And it opens up. So a lot more stamping. But it's a very uh, different paper. 
you know, so you see the dramatic change versus, you know, the this is all kind of the same color, but it has a different pattern, right? So, and I did do, I wanted this swirl to kind of go around my heart. Well, it, it doesn't. So what I did is I cut it out upside down. So I turned it this time on this one, I cut the die on top of the gold foil paper. And on this one, I cut the die from the back of the gold foil paper. And so I could get the same design kind of framing in my heart. So that was, that was the other one. Ta-da, ta-da, all my little cheat notes on the back, see that? So using the same pattern looks a lot different. So experiment with all your different designer papers. The only thing I would say is be careful if it's um, directional, you know, because you're flipping it around and gluing it on back on the bottom. So just make sure if you have a directional print that that'll work out for you. So one thing to keep in mind. Now, in talking about this great paper that we have, this is one of the paper um, uh, pieces of designer paper from that kit also that you can receive free with the honey the golden honey specialty paper from celebration this is that same paper this is a card that we're going to be making Yvonne you're coming to class for Valentine's this is one of the cards we're making so this is the same paper all I did was take my blends and color in all the flowers so I have the center of the flowers colored in and I have the flowers in red so this is a cute little card using the bees. Again, I used the hive out of the paper again. And ta-da. So a lot of that uh, designer paper, we've talked about that before. Remember that you can color that in. It's a lot of fun to do that. The cake, uh, the happy birthday that I used is from this set, Happy Birthday to You, which is another celebration set. So I use this nice big verse here. Now, this is one of the sets that you can next, on February 4th, you can purchase um, dies, matching dies that'll go with this set. So here are the dies, and the dies will cut out the cake, the whole thing like that. It also will make a beautiful cake stand, and then there's leaves and some little accent pieces, but it will also cut out separately these flowers so you can bump those flowers up on top of your cake so you would stamp the whole image stamp this separate color in your flowers and pop those up so um, keep that in mind if you're interested that you can get this set for free you can purchase this set um, February 4th and I will have some more using this set on my follow-up on Friday so if you tune in on Friday I never know what time but I will be doing a Facebook Live on Friday, and I will play with this um, set. Actually, it could be going on while my class is going on. So if I have helpers here, that'll be a good thing. <laughs> so there you go. That's what we're up to today. So I think I'm all set. I'm going to turn my camera around here. There we go. And bring this down. Okay. So what do you think? Are you going to try that? Try that special fold. So easy to do. Easy measurements. You have, you use up all of your designer paper and we all have a lot of designer paper. I know, I know that you guys have it and you're afraid to use it. You'll get two cards out of it. Plus you get that one inch strip that you can use as a belly band or on another card. So go ahead and use that paper. And I think that you'll enjoy making this card. Super simple. So I will see you on Friday, follow up Friday. And I will have some cards made with the cake stand. And thank you so much. I appreciate you joining me so much. I can't say. Um, share with your friends. Let them know. Let them know I'm out here talking on Tuesday at 2. And we will see you on Friday. And then we'll see you next week, Tuesday. If there's something special you want to see from the catalog, please let me know. I am, I am open to designing um, and using the products that you're interested in seeing so I can specialize it just for you. Thank you so much, take care. Hello, Florida, have fun. We'll talk with you later, bye-bye.